Hey everybody, coming at you from out in the wilderness. That was kind of a doozy coming from up there. <laughs> we have on the camera, Hello. we have Nick. Now, for those of my viewers that are remember the swamp shelter where I weaved a bunch of rope and then built the shelter on top and then rigged up a tarp, I have completely redone everything. And I've gotten rid of the rope and I now have webbing. All right, so it's not only for a swamp shelter, but it's also a multiple person shelter for swamps, wetlands, snow, mud, and hillsides. Now, hillsides or cliffs? <laughs> yeah, well, you still, have to, you still have to set it up. But we are going to test this out on a hillside. Now, uh, also, withstanding with the nothing touching the ground, I'm going to show you a thing called a, a gear cradle. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to try to set this up, and we're going to see if it works. And, and I have a thing called a gear cradle that we're going to set up. And I think I got some trees that are going to work. Uh, so, the gear cradle is something that is great for multiple people setups. Like if you're going to set up in the snow or the mud or whatever, even if you're going to set up a tent. You can set your gear in the gear cradle. So that's the first thing that we're going to set up. So it's right here on the outside of my pack. Nick, unsnap those two bunkers there. There you are. All right, there you go. And what this is, is this thing consists of, it's just a piece of heavy core gear with some webbing and then some rope. All right, that's all there is to it. So let's head up this hillside right here and set it up on that tree right there. All right, you ready to go, Nick? Yeah. All right, let's go. Now, like I said, not everybody's going to have a swamp shelter like this because it's a custom, large custom piece. But this gear cradle could be something that a lot of you could use. All right, so let's start out here. First thing that you want to do, now as usual, nothing's on the ground. We're going to tie this rope around this tree, just like that. I'm going to try. Nick, you need, to, you need to pay attention and see if I mess up or not on touching the ground with anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. You already messed up. How did I mess up? Your feet are touching the ground. <laughs> well, that's okay for my feet to touch the ground. Right? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go around to the back side of this tree here. And I got a taut line hitch. And I'm going to pull that tight. And pull it in an angle. All right, we should be good on that. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to feed. Let's see, I got this webbing here. It's kind of like a giant pocketbook <laughs> with, the, with the open. All right, so we're going to feed this through here just like that. There we go. All right, you get the idea? Yeah. All right, and then we're going to go around this tree. I'm going to try to be as level as possible. Put you be right there. Give it a pull. As tight as I can. You can come around just like this. And I'm going to try to... Oh, wait a minute. I already screwed up. Oh, come on. <laughs> wait a minute. There goes, a minute. <laughs> there goes more of our viewers. Hold on. you got to feed it through here while keeping it tight. Keep it tight. Then some food. Here. And then let's pull it tight as we can like that. And then we're gonna go up. Up. And then back around. Just like this. A little higher. <laughs> Having fun? Oh yeah. All right, now I'm gonna go round and round and tie it off. I 
first I thought you were putting it around the wood tree there. Better look at it for a minute. Nah. I'm not going to do that. Yet. I would move closer, but I'm pretty sure I'm fixing to slide down this hill. Nah, I don't do that. Yet. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tie this baby off. Just like that. Now, I've got some sharp clips or tarp clips. And you can put these on there to keep these things spread out. But the next little trick is uh, can you come down without falling? A little bit. You take your backpack off. All right, now, once again, nothing is nothing. And then you snag your machete. Nothing is touching. So you open up your backpack, and then you can start getting out some of the stuff that you need. And you can either lay it on the rope, or you can start setting it inside. Mm -hmm. See? Isn't that cool? Now I don't know what all I'm going to need. This is the, this is the initial, see how this is pulling in? That's why I'm going to put the tarp clips in there. I think they're right here. Now check this out. I'm going to take my pack and I'm going to set it up on this rope. Isn't that cool? See, it's not touching the ground. Yep. Now these tarp clips, or sharp clips, Let's see if this works. Let's get rid of these gloves. I may, yeah. or may not need them. need the same word. Just throw them in the creek down there. <laughs> throw them in the creek. All right, so these, let's take these. They call them shark clips because they look like a shark. <laughs> but you open them up. Uh, okay. Look, you open them up and you put them on just like that and tighten them up. Now, another thing about this, with your gear cradle, you could put a tarp over the top to cover this thing. Now, don't you think that's handy? Yeah. Isn't that cool? And all this is is a big piece of Cordura fabric with webbing. Now, I got a few more things in here we're going to need. Look, paracord. Look at the paracord in there. I think this pack. That's too wide. It's too big of a tree. So we're going to move it down here. And then I got my bungees. Now the bungees I can just hang up here. Isn't it cool? Yeah. No, nothing's touching the ground. And you know why we brought the bungees, right? You remember? No. Yeah. Why? <laughs> we're going to go bungee jumping on that cliff over there. <laughs> yeah. Next thing ain't long enough. We're not making a TikTok video. <laughs> All right, is there anything left in here? Oh, we got some rope. I may or may not need that rope. I'm not real sure. Oh, yeah, you got the coffee in there, right? You oh, the no, coffee? that's it. I quit. <laughs> now, see, this is a multiple, and this is the smaller rope. I may need that for the, uh, I don't know if I'm going to need tarp, I mean, paracord or the small rope for the tarp. And this is the tarp that I made for it. Now, see, that's all we need to get out right now. So, all right, that is our, this is our gear central, all right? This is where we have everything, everything that we're going to need right here off the ground, all right? Does that sound good, Nick? Yeah. That even if you don't use the swamp shelter idea, maybe this is a good idea. All right, so let's go down here and see if I have chosen the right trees. I'm going to take three of these and one of these, and then I'm going to take... Put this stuff back in there, and then I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna explain why this goes on first. All right. All right. Now another advantage of setting this thing up and using it is the fact that not only are you on the side of a hill, and there's rocks everywhere. It's terrible. There's no flat land here, but we're only halfway up the mountain. That if it floods upstream, it could very easily flood where we're at. So you, you would want a tent there. Now this is a huge tree. So I know. it's almost like it's better to build on a higher elevation yeah but it's kind of you got to find the right trees for this you know what i mean and we want to be near the crystal clear water 
Mm -hmm. Let's see. I hate doing it using the tree this big. I try to swing around. There we go. Alright. Now, we're going to take these carabiner bungees and nothing is touching the ground. I think this is the only pine over here. I think it is too. It's a big pine too. That That's weird. Big. This is this is literally the only pine tree over here. No. All right. Let's see if I can unfold this thing. Huh. Like a Figure out what's the top, and what's the bottom. Look at that. I already put that thing on wrong. Well, I don't know if it matters. Well, let's do it right since we're trying to do it right. All right. Now this is a called a shelter tarp. This thing, it, it's not really load bearing, but I have to put it up first. Now I'll explain why in just a minute. Let's see. All right, let's throw that over there so that it don't touch the ground. All Around this tree. Gonna here. Where we at? Okay. Right here. You see? Still nothing touching the ground. One of these days I am gonna actually set this up and swamp. Because we're gonna wanna set this up. Okay, I'm just gonna flip around. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna wanna set this up right here. Right here. You're going all over the place. I know. I should have just stayed over there. Well that's why I said. That's why I said for you to. That's why I said I needed you to film this in real bad. Okay, here's the thing. Now, we have. Let's see. Let's push this out. Okay, the reason you want to set this up is because you set it up with the bungee cords. Because that way you can take these cords. Move it around and get everything level. Now that needs to go down there. All right, that's pretty level. Now, people that watched my last video, they saw how I weaved the rope under the trees and then laid this on. Well, what I have done is I have made a piece out of webbing. Now there's three different kind of webbings. There's nylon, there's polyester, and there's polypropylene. Now, here's a little fact. Not many people know, but polypropylene is the only fabric that will not conduct electricity when wet. Uh, so I got to thinking, if I have my choice over polypropylene, or nylon webbing. Why not go with this? That way, in case lightning hits the tree, it won't travel into me. Now, you see why I put the gray thing up first? Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this, because this thing's all wadded up and tangled up. I'm gonna attach it to the tree first. I'm just gonna go ahead and scoot over to this, that, this side over here. Look, I'm gonna attach it to the tree first. What a wonderful video this is. <laughs> yep, there goes more of our viewers. <laughs> I'm going to attach it to the tree, and then once I get it attached and pulled tight, I'll undo this and set it on top. All right? So this is not only a way of seeing what all is level, it's also a place to lay this out so it ain't got to be laying on the ground or in the water or whatever. Now each end, instead of having each end come to one loop, I made each end come to two loops. See? That way, all the pressure won't be on one. It'll be on two. Isn't that neat? Yeah. All right, so let's go up here to our, our uh, gear cradle. I need to find another end here. Now, I may have to uh, do this several times. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with some bungees. So this will work. I'm going to start out with some bungees, then I'm going to move to 
once I get it straightened out, once I get this all stretched out, then I'm going to go to uh, to um, daisy chain webbing for strength. So that'll be real cool. All right, so I'm going to stretch each corner out with the some bungee cords to see exactly where we're at. All right, sound good? All right. All right. All right, so what we have here is we have a bunch of webbing, and then I got some carabiners. Now, in theory, I was going to set all this right here, but look how far it weighs it down. Nice. So, yeah, nice. So what I think I'm going to do, and I brought, like I said, this is all a bunch of stuff. I didn't know what I was going to need, so I'm, 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 uh, I, I'm, this trip is to find out what we need. Okay, so I'm gonna put a couple of daisy chain webbings here. Uh, I'm gonna put a couple over here. Let's see. And then I've got some two inch webbing over there that's even longer. I think I'm gonna put the long ones here and put the short ones there. Let's see. Daisy chain webbing is what they use on hammocks. All right. Now that I've got that, I've got some carabiners, and I'm not real excited about having to use my climbing carabiners. Oh, look at that. There you go. I just got, just got yep. it wet. If I was Good in the job. swamp, that would be disappeared. Now, for now, I'm going to use these climbing carabiners, but usually you would want to use some of these junky cheap carabiners, but I don't know which one I want to use. Let's see how many of these I got. I think I got enough that I might could do it with this. Let's take a look. All right, we've got two carabangers here, two for that other corner, and then two for that corner. All right. These are UIAA certified climbing carabangers, good for, uh, uh, I think it's 5,500 pounds, I think. This is in kilonewton. Let's put this stuff back there. Now, let's see if this is going to work. Now, what I want to do is I want to use two daisy chains. I want to use one independent from the other. So, what we're going to do, this is a big old tree. I hope this works. Let's wrap this around. All right. Oh, come on. <laughs> I caught on the floor. All right, so you feed this through, just like that. Let's see. I'm going to be right in line. And then we've got all these daisies here, and so what we're going to do, I'm going to take one of these, and I'm going to take my climbing carabiner, And I'm going to pull it tight. Let's go up to here. Pull it tight and put it right in there. Hmm. Hmm. So what I'm going to do now, I got that in there. Let's lock that in. And then I'm going to take my second one. And then I'm going to try to pull this over here to this side of the tree. Can you kind of see how the webbing is doing? Yeah. Go around this way. Right. Now I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you with this one right here where we are close. And I'm gonna do the other three off camera because it might be construed as boring. What? Never. This is riveting. <laughs> riveting. Now see right here. Here's the thing. Not all the pressure is going to be on one piece. It'll be on two different daisy chains, two different carabiners, and two different pieces here. So now what I got to do is I got to give it a pull and try to hook it right in here. All right, now now that I've done that, I have loosened it here, and I would like for these two to be relatively close. Now how about that? Look at that. Wait a minute, I just twisted it. 
You see why I'm going to do the others? Here, jump up and come over here and look at this minute. So the people can get an idea of this. So this is how it's going to work. This is how every corner is going to be. It's going to be on daisy chains with a climbing carabiner. And I'm going to try to pull it tight, as tight as I can. Now that end, I can tell, needs to go down. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to be about a hand's width off of this tarp. And then when I get done, I'll put the, put the tarp on top of the webbing. Sound good? Yeah. All right, so... I'm going to stretch these others out and clip them onto the tree. And then we're going to put this on top and see if we can lay them. And I'm putting the last one on. i got to make sure not get in interfered with the, the, um, right, with the uh, bungee cords because we've got to undo them. Now, where are we at here? All right, so what we've got to do, this is the last one. Like I said, this is all a experiment in progress. All right, so what I think we need to do is what I need to do is try to get one more loop out of this one. Now this is the part that I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to do. <coughs> there we go, I got it. I don't know if I can get another one out of this or not, and I bet I can't. All right, so we have this thing set up. Mm. Let's see how it's done. Kind of pan around to look at the whole thing. Nick. I'm trying to tug on it, and uh, now nah, I doubt that'll. All right. So we need next. We're going to try to undo this and set it on top. I'll just put this around here. So we're gonna undo that. Just like that. Let's try to put it on the top. Like I said, y'all are seeing this. This is a first time deal. Look, it just touched the ground. Oh, there it goes. Yep. I'll have to be well. more careful. We're running out of daylight. <laughs> oh, there goes another wonderful camera angle. Uh, <laughs> I was moving over here. I was like, yep, there goes another wonderful camera angle. Okay. We just lost 50 more viewers. Uh, again, to clarify, so the basic idea is imagining we're not on a dry hillside, but you're in a swamp. <laughs> and that'll be hard to think. So, this is here and here. I mean, it's not like Georgia has a lot of swamps. Yeah, it's got a few, but not a whole lot. I was being sarcastic. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. No, we really do, Nick. Now, I may have to, I don't know yet. Like I said, this is all new. I may wind up having to, instead of using bungees on these, I may wind up having to actually use daisy chains on these. What was that? What was that sound? I don't know, a bungee just oh, came. Oh, the bungee popped off. As I was just going to say, there ain't no way this thing ripped. But I've had my body weight on this before. Look at that. I got this thing in, I got that underneath the daisy chain. That's something else I might have to be careful with. Look at that. What do you think, Nick? Beautiful. Look at that. It's coming down bad. I think what I'm going to have to do is lay on it and then tighten up the daisy chains. I'm going to lay on that side and then I'm going to tighten it up. What I got to do is I got to stretch the strap. Uh. I 
probably going to touch the ground over here. All right, I'm putting weight. Am I touching the ground? No. Don't. Okay. Now, see, I could nope. lay here and you could lay there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this a little bit. <laughs> because I'm stretching Rock the daisies. Goodbye, baby. You ever heard that stretch? <laughs> stretching the daisies? I think I'm going to pull that one over there. All right, so that's a good thing. We're not touching the ground. Even though it may like not look pretty, that's the idea of it. All right, let's see how easy this is. Look at that. Oh, ain't gonna happen, Nick. I'll do it. Wait a minute. I'm gonna have to resort to what I thought I was gonna have to resort to, and that is rope. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. Let's try this. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these on. Uh, I'm going to hook two. The carabiners, and I guess the daisy chain can just be like a safety measure. So let's hook to this, like this, and this. There may be, and I don't know. I may wind up having to use a ratchet strap. You know what I mean? I don't. I just. I don't know yet. And as far as using like maybe a trucker's hitch, I don't know because we're dealing with tree bark. All right, so let's give this the old foot power. Ah. Now, I wonder, look at that, I bet I could get another loop out of that. Hmm. See, this tree is too large for me to reach around and hold that. Let me just try something here. See if I can hold on to this. I mean, it's not like there's two people here that could be doing this. Yeah, but you're filming. <clears throat> Let's see if I can stretch this one out. I bet I could. Here, I tell you what, can you hold this with one hand and still in? Let me, let me give it a little bit more. Pull. All right, now that tree bark is going to hold it for a minute. Hold this right here, this part. That? Under tension, yeah. Under tension. Let's see if I can pull this up and get another loop out of it. Uh, nope. Well, there's got to be another way of doing this. Nah, it ain't going to work. Let me get it. Let me see it. I'm just going to have to run this rope through it. <laughs> nice. Now I'm going to need shorter rope. I don't need this real long rope. But like I said, this is just an experiment to see how tight I can get this. You see, the daisy chains will be there for in case the rope fails. But the main thing is I'm going to put a bunch of pressure on there and I want to make sure this polypropylene that I made ain't going to ain't going to um, break. How's that, Nick? Oh, look at that. If I could just get around this tree. Wait a minute, what are you doing? This is this should be under pressure, is it not? Well, no, it's not. See? Oh, man. Oh, the I'm daisy seeing... chain's not, but the rope is. Yeah. All right, hold on. I was going to try and, uh, I was gonna try and shove it. Look at this. <laughs> I can't reach around the tree, Nick. Hang on. See if you can get one more out of it. Where's the opening? Right there. Ah. 
is an easy film. <laughs> I'm filming and trying to. There you go. All right, we got one more out of it. Now go around and. That was a fun filming position. Hand me this rope on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> or hold pressure on it. All right, hold pressure. All right, now let me grab this. Let go. Let's pick out a tree over here. We'll wrap around this thing. Whatever you do, don't trip over this. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go on this side. Hey, you viewers, if you got a suggestion, let us have it. Oh, I'm sure we're gonna get all caps comments. Stop shaking the camera around. <laughs> well, I'm sure the biggest Please comment. Please stop the, walking the, around all the trees. The biggest comment is gonna wind up being use ratchet straps. And I was trying to avoid that, but I may have to. Like, use daisy chains on two of them and then ratchet straps on the last. So let's see how low it sinks now. Okay. Tell me if you think it sinks lower. Nah. It nah, ain't that's lower. up higher. That's a little better. This is very noticeably higher. See, that's not, that's not too bad laying on this webbing. Hey, go down there and look underneath it. You set, show the web and kind of squat down. Can you see it? Yeah. So, I have the tarp. Now, <clears throat> this tarp was laid out on my front lawn. <laughs> and I measured it and cut pieces of scraps out that I had of this, this forest grain. So, I don't even know how it's going to fit, how it's going to work, or anything. I just want to get an idea behind it. Let's see, what's the top and what's the bottom? That's the top and that's the bottom. It's sort of a semi-triangular shape. Let's see, what do we want to do? Let's get another carabiner and let's carabiner one side down. Well, let's spread it out first, see how big it is. Because I can't remember how big it is. Well, actually, you think I ought to carabiner that side first so I can see? Mm hmm Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me grab another one. <laughs> I mean, there are loose... There are loose carabiners right here. Oh, okay. Let's just put it under there then. This thing was designed for either. Okay, look at that. How about that? If only the viewers knew how much fun this is to disassemble at the end. <laughs> if only you all knew the countless hours we spend in the woods disassembling these shelters. <laughs> Assembly. Now, that's the other thing. This ain't no in and out backpacker type deal. This is a bring it in, set it up for the whole weekend for one or for two or three people. You see, one guy's going to have to carry the shelter and the components, and the other's going to have to carry all the food and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. You got to carry the coffee, the food, uh, the signature bucket to sit on. <laughs> we could just do like me and just find a really huge rock and right, sit somewhere. Now, there could be a point here to this thing. See, this thing's a lot bigger than I thought. And I really should put it... Yeah, let's put it up down here, low, and then I'm going to raise it up on that other side. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, that ain't bad. Now, you wasn't there when I did the other one, was you? Mm. Uh, okay, now see maybe? this thing? It ain't like a full triangle. It's got... It's got some stuff going on so that I can lift up this side right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this on here. I really need another one, because this ain't enough. Yeah, this needs to go up high. Hmm. 
God, I'm all out of bungees. Let's see, how many bungees are over here? Alright, that bungee is there. Okay, I got an extra bungee right here. There's something running back there. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I went over there and I found another bungee. Let's click this on. And I'm gonna try to throw this around too. Now in the future, I may use paracord. Oh, we got it. I may use paracord for this. But for now, we're in a hurry, so I'm using bungees. And I really, I don't like using a tree this big. Look, how's that, Nick? That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Mm hmm Cozy. Now, look at this. I just noticed something. You can either take another cord and you can pull this thing out this way. Or you can just have it down like this for in case the wind is going in a, uh, or the rain is going in a certain direction. What do you think? You like it so far, Nick? Yeah. Now let's try something else here. I'm going to pull this. I'm pull this under the oh, look at that. Now it's right above. Look at that, look at that, Nick. What do you think? <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. And look, there's uh, loops over there. You can even tie weight to them to the back side and pull them down and staple them. You can crawl in here like this. You can grab this and you can pull it down and stake it down. Yes. That's alright. Alrighty. Nick, can you just see us spending the night in this thing? Yes. That's awesome. Alright, I'm going to lay on this side and see what it does. Now see, my weight... My weight is pulling it down here, but I think if Nick was over on that end, see how much room's over there? I think if Nick was on that end, I think it would counterbalance me. Yeah. Now put your feet that way. Just snaps. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Film your feet, Nick. <clears throat> See, Nick is on it, and we're not touching the ground. That is spectacular. This is a wonderful video. <laughs> now, I think... I, now okay, that I've let looked me see at if... it, I don't think three people would fit on here. Yep. We're not touching the ground. That's awesome. That is spectacular. So we got over, way over, what do we got, 350 pounds on this? Probably. Yeah, I think this is great. All right. That's we'll do it. strong a, stitching on this. It is. Oh, another real, real important thing, okay? Any outdoor projects, never use cotton. Never, 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 never. Always use nylon thread because cotton can get wet and then dry rot. Nylon or polyester thread will not. And always use upholstery thread, heavy upholstery thread, heavy upholstery nylon. And like I said, this is a polypropylene. And it weighs, it weighs five times less than rope. So, all right, I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, 
like I said, this deal with the daisy uh, carabiners, I don't know, maybe I can put a rope on the carabiner and then pull it with a, a rope and then latch it into the daisy chain. <clears throat> I don't want to use ratchet straps, but I may have to. So, anyway, and pretty it's pretty obvious this polypropylene is going to hold up. Yeah. So, anything you want to add, Nick? Uh, I'm amazed this isn't snapping under us. I'm glad. I am so glad that we're both on this and this thing's holding up great. Alright, well, <clears throat> get I'm out. i eat those words in about five seconds. <laughs> we'll cut the camera off. Bink, 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 bink. <laughs> Alright, well, take it easy. Enjoy life. Get out. Enjoy your family. If you got a kid, enjoy your kid. And uh, I hope everybody has the same relationship that Nick and I have. So try to have that with your son. And take it easy. Enjoy life. And we shall see you in the next one. See you later.